Since decommissioning was completed in 2009, SMUD's closed Rancho Seco nuclear plant is a shell of its former self. After an extended federally inspected decommissioning process that began in 1997, most of the shuttered plant consists of empty buildings, vacant lots, and concrete foundations. We can't fire up Rancho Seco because all of the infrastructure and equipment that was used to make electricity in the past has actually been removed as part of the decommissioning process. So all the buildings here are empty. There is no power plant to start up. The empty buildings have been scraped clean of all contaminants and stripped of their former contents. This includes pumps, tanks, pipes, electrical equipment, and all infrastructure, including lighting and ventilation. The 913 megawatt nuclear plant began producing electricity in April 1975, and it never had a major accident, let alone a core meltdown. However, SMUD customers voted in June of 1989 to shut down the Rancho Seco nuclear plant. It stopped producing electricity the day after the election. Planning for the decommissioning process began soon after. Beginning in 1997, SMUD inspected, disassembled, and cleaned the inside of the plant inch by inch, piece by piece. Everything from the walls, machinery, furniture, fixtures, water, even the dirt, was inspected for radiation and scrubbed clean. This included major components such as the reactor vessel itself, the main electrical generator, steam turbines, and tanks. This work was continually inspected and approved by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The cleaned up innards of the plant were shipped off for safe and secure disposal at federally approved sites. A few internal parts remain on site, including the used fuel rods that are waiting for approved permanent storage. They are sealed in specially designed steel reinforced canisters. Those canisters are in turn encased in extremely thick concrete bunkers approved by the NRC. These bunkers are cooled by natural airflow and thus don't require any pumps or fans. How safe are the bunkers in which the fuel is stored? They're, they're very safe. We've analyzed uh, all of the potential conditions which could impact the stored fuel. The bunkers, which are located on Rancho Seco property, are designed to withstand maximum expected seismic events. In addition, they sit at 150 feet above sea level, so there's little risk of flooding. The closed nuclear plant is outside of the 100-year flood zone. Special security personnel monitor the concrete bunkers around the clock. For many Sacramento area residents, the only visible legacy of the nuclear plant is its iconic twin towers. The old cooling towers can be seen for miles in South Sacramento County. Pilots still use them as landmarks when flying near Sacramento. And while helpful to pilots and drivers looking for the Rancho Seco recreational area, SMUD actually left the twin towers up because tearing them down is cost prohibitive. They may, however, give people the wrong impression the plant is a working one when it is not. SMUD honored the will of the voters and closed the plant and moved on to find other sources of energy.